Hey guys, and welcome back to Front Mission. When we last left off, we were continuing with the main story. However, um, I did actually miss one of the secret missions. In fact, I missed the first secret mission due to the fact that I was actually being stupid. And I was reading the secret mission list for the other campaign. <laughs> so, um, what I've done... I've used my New Game Plus profile, played us back up to where we should be, and we're going to insert the secret mission in here. Now, because we're doing New Game Plus, we have a lot of sexy, fancy uber toys that, uh, well, we don't have. Um, I've also got heavily leveled um, pilots as well. I think they're like level between level like 32 and 40 so they have pretty big kahunis um, with the exception of a couple of them that I haven't actually changed their equipment yet so let's go set up quickly and you can see the sort of hardware we're messing around with um, as we can see Royd here is rocking the um, Innova body which is just it's unstoppable really um, we have Ryuji who is using the was this one called the burn or something uh, yeah burn this thing is also monstrously unstoppable we also have ah yes the ed 209 essentially uh, for Natalie which is called the um, algem this thing uh, you actually get towards the end of the main campaign from what I can understand uh, from what I can remember I should say this thing is just godly <laughs> you actually come up against a few of these um, that the enemy are piloting but they're not that difficult when the enemy are piloting them and everybody else just has uh, essentially end game gear so it's a little bit unfair on the enemies in that respect but apart from uh, Hans here, who needs to be given some kind of new Uber equipment to be part of the party. So we are going to give him a Valiant body. And I guess we shall give him the eye gel. Yeah, we'll give him the eye gel as well. Just because uh, I think that's what everybody else has. Where is it? The eye gel. Yeah, I guess it's that one. Okay, cool. Now the legs, I think we were going for the... Yeah, the num... The num C car. As well, CPU. We will be using the... Uh, EATA. And the backpack will be the bagworm. Uh, weaponry is... Well, for hands, I think... We will give him... Do we have any cool, like, rifles? Like, endgame rifles? Uh, well, not that I can see. We've got some basic level stuff. Which is kind of boring. But considering this is a sneaky little bonus mission... I don't really care. Um, let's just give him endgame stuff. Sure. Why not? It matters not at the end of the day. Now. Um, we will give him also. Got so many weapons here, to be honest. Probably need to like get rid of some of these. Because <laughs> it's just kind of silly at this point. Yeah, the donkey. Now, the donkey only fires one missile. But it does have four ammo. But the missile does uh, 99 damage. So, it and its accuracy is 86% as well. It's kind of savage and unfair uh, against these enemies. Now, to unlock the secret mission, we have to go to Neo Bliss, I believe, and we have to talk to Bart. We've got to talk to him twice. The electricity generated by the Mail River Dam powers almost all of Freedom City. Talk to him again. If someone destroyed the dam, Freedom would be pretty much uh, would pretty much cease to function. I hope there aren't any renegade UCS troops aiming to cut us off. 
And then Mihua. I hope nobody gets that idea. Still, should we check it out? Ryuji, it's your call, Captain. Alright, well, I think we should probably have a little poke around out there and see what we can find. What's the worst that could happen? You know, I guess the worst that could happen would be somebody trying to blow the dam up. That would be a little bit awkward, but, you know. I guess we'll cross that dam when we get to it. <laughs> yes. Still no contacts. I guess it was only a rumor. <gasps> Look at them in their little toy wanzas. Cute. We're surrounded. That's impossible. There was nothing on the sensors. What's this? Weren't the OCU troops assigned to this zone all sent to the front? Call off the demolition teams. We need to get rid of these Aussies first. Defend the dam. Don't let them destroy it. I shall be done. Right, we're going to take everybody. Could probably just take... Um, Probably just take Royd or just, well, any one character and do this, to be honest. But, you know. That would take a considerable amount of time. Right, so Royd is going to break this way. Now, Royd, uh, I thought he had missiles. He might actually have missiles. I can't remember. Um, right, Ryuji is going to go... Up the dam. Boing, boing. Um, Natalie. Natalie could actually hold back here. Just in case anybody attacks us from the rear. <laughs> you know. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Everybody else. Full steam ahead. Not that I'm expecting anybody to attack us from the rear or anything. No, don't be silly. Not as if I played this before. Okay, everybody march forwards. Because this is where the lion's share of the enemies are. Probably could have left the Valiant behind to handle this, but, you know. Peace through superior firepower is what I say. Um, let's see. Peewee, you can go sit in the corner or sit over here and think about what you've done. Uh, we're just going to defend ourselves. <laughs> Cute. Not even going to use Jewel. Don't need it. Yeah, this is what level 40 endgame characters can do. It's pretty terrifying, really. There's no point even guarding because they can't get through our defense. So, you know. This is just to show the levels, basically. Um... You know, it wasn't my intention to be that overpowered doing these secret missions, but as I missed this one, it seemed easier to just replay it on my New Game Plus save. Oh, also this, I believe, is with the difficulty increased as well. So, you know. That thing is just monstrous. It has a rifle on the other side as well, but only fires one shot. I guess we could try the cannon. Uh, I guess go for a body shot. Yep. That'll do it. But the machine gun is more fun, if you ask me. And uh, looks like they're going to send a couple this way. That's alright. <laughs> Each missile is doing one damage. Oof. Pathetic. What does that have? Oh, right. That actually only has the machine gun. Interesting. Alright, well, let's... Plow the road. As a president once said. There we go. It's not fair. <laughs> These uh, toys are really cool. Apparently, like the more times you complete this game as well, you unlock even more impressive mechs and things, which is really freaking cool. I kind of wish that we would have that in more games. So this thing has a flamethrower and it has a long-range rocket launcher on its back. The flamethrower is... Yeah, passable, I suppose. But obviously the uh, the rockets is where it's at. We're going to attack. Let's just attack with the MG. 
Don't need to duel. Oh, it's so cool. Like I say, that um, that Ed 209 type body we will be getting through our normal playthrough towards the end of the game. Right, let's give him an albatross, which isn't as good as the donkey, but it's a cool weapon. It is another very high level rocket launcher. Well, we gave him a rather miserable <laughs> experience, I suppose. We'll just give him a donkey. I guess same for the body, it's all he has left. We'll take it. Alright, Fred, keep moving up, Milado. I mean, this is basically playing with cheats, really. Now, what's interesting is um, my New Game Plus plan was to put it on the hardest difficulty, but I haven't unlocked any more of the difficulties. So, uh, maybe I've unlocked one more difficulty? Maybe? I think you can have hard. But I thought hard was already unlocked, so I'm not really sure how you unlock the other difficulties. Unless every time you finish it, you get one more difficulty unlocked. I don't know. This game has a lot of unlocks, by the way. Which is really good. We like unlocks. Pee Wee, you can just sit there. We can waste this guy with the MG. Because I think there's about three, possibly four, difficulty levels above this one. Because I think you have like easy, um, it's like a slightly harder one, then there's normal, and then there's hard. And that's what we're on. <coughs> So I guess if I actually go all the way through it and finish this, we'll get one more difficulty. Because the others still have a little padlock on them. Bastards. That's fine. It does make me wonder just how overpowered you can actually become in this game. Like if you have to complete the game, say, four times to unlock every single difficulty. Kind of crazy when you think about it. Alright. I guess I'll show this thing's flamethrower off. You probably won't see this squad in the rest of the videos. Um, unless we miss another... Yeah, we missed. Unless we miss, like, another uh, secret mission, I guess. Um, I can't remember, actually, if any more enemies come from behind. We'll park Ed 209 over here. Anyway... So that's fine. Okay, let's engage. Uh, oh, we got two weapons here. I mean, that just that Gatling gun is just monstrous. Does five times twenty damage. That's a hundred damage per shot. But with speed, it fires a lot more. <laughs> speed three, I should say. It fires a lot more than five shots. It's just disgusting, really. And this is, uh, with the increased damage that the enemies are supposed to be doing. This donkey launcher is just insane as well. Bearing in mind, like I say, it does 100 damage. None of these uh, Wanza parts are anywhere near 100 health. <laughs> it's funny. Sometimes it's fun to just blast through a game with, like, an unstoppable squad. It does get a little bit boring, but, you know... Playing a few levels here and there at work is, is quite fun. Not that, to be honest, this was a very difficult game. I did notice as if you move the difficulty up a little bit, like one or two notches. I think it was even one notch we moved it up. On um, off or my first try, when I first played this game, I think I started it on hard. Which I thought was, you know, somewhere middle of the pack on the difficulty scale. Man, that was hard. It literally came down to, you know, even in the first levels, 50-50 to whether an engagement was going to end up in getting you killed. So, yeah, after doing some research, 
uh, realizing that those extra difficulties are for um, New Game Plus. It made a lot more sense. Because when every enemy is a 50-50% chance of getting destroyed and getting a game over. Yeah. Alright, anyway, let's keep cleaning house. We shall hit you with the rockets. And every time you complete the game as well, you... You will, from what I remember reading, you'll unlock all the same mechs that you've already unlocked. So, for instance, we'll get another one of these. Um, we'll get another one of all the other frames as well. So eventually, if you wanted, if you complete this game like, you know... 20 times I guess you could have everyone in one of these which is pretty cool you also get um, different weapons and parts that you unlock although I can't say I've really messed with that too much mainly because there's so many different parts I don't know without actually sitting down and going through all of the stats and things I don't know what the game has given me and you know cuz I from what I remember it doesn't actually tell you when you finish the game you just have to go into your inventory and there's like new stuff there so you have to kind of remember what you finished the game with and what you what what's what new so now obviously there'll be a list somewhere online but it's so nice to have a game that has just so many um, options you know, so much replayability added to it. Okay, and... Because that is something you don't see a whole lot of these days. Oh! I had no idea they attacked the dam. That's really fun. I had no idea they attacked the dam. Well, that ain't gonna fly, sir. Let me just have a hop, skip, and a jump up here. And waste your ass. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Alright. Um, so, what's left on the old tactical map here? Two enemies left. Okay. Hit them with the rockets. Yeah, this engine does not like... The split screen coupled with the water shader. Like you literally drop into four frames a second territory. It's really not great. That might be. Oh no, we're okay. I thought that was going to be a little bit too close for the rockets. Because yes, they do have a minimum range. <laughs> We've secured all the bombs. We have. Look at these things. They're equipped with some kind of stealth device. They would have been impossible to find if they were activated. Our job's done. Let's go back. And we actually get a Clinton type. Which is another spider walker. But it's got a huge Gatling gun on the back. Um, I don't know if it's any good. I guess I will save this file and experiment with it off camera. Maybe at some point. So yeah, honestly don't know if the Clinton type is any good. The stats on it are quite a bit paired back to the other spider walkers that we have. I will show the Clinton type off quickly. Um, I guess what we could do actually is if we go to say setup. And let's swap out this guy the Innova to the Clinton. You can see it's got less than half the defense. Less, well, it's got half the HP and about two thirds of the power. Let's give the, uh, let's give this guy a go anyway. Let's head to the arena. See what damage we can do. Oh, right. We can go up against uh, Gregorio here. We could have got Gregorio actually thinking about it. Um, to help us with that last mission. Not that there was really a lot of point, to be honest. Oh, God. Gregorio's stats. 
he's still got the same stats. <laughs> okay, he might actually be a serious um, challenge now. And it's over. Still the undefeated champion, Kong. Will nobody end his reign? Let's challenge Kong, shall we? <laughs> if he's got all of his powered up stats, this could be a much more interesting fight. So, we've got the MG. Let's hit him. And we've got the speed 3 plus dual. Oh, oh, okay. I I guess I guess it wasn't as close as I thought it might have been. How do you, you do it? I can't believe it. I need a favor from you. I want to join your squad. There's a lot I could learn from a pilot like you. Kong has joined your squad. Welcome aboard, Kong. Yeah, so <laughs> I guess this bad boy is um kind of insane still. But anyway, guys, that was just uh, to fill in that secret mission that we'd missed. So thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, we're going to be uh, continuing with our main storyline. So till then, guys, thanks for watching.